Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It is September 19th, 2024, which means today is the day that you can actually start setting up your things for the Royal. You can also start registration today, but tomorrow is the day that the doors will open and you'll get a chance to get inside and see this a stamp show. Now, why am I so excited about a stamp show? Well, normally I've been going to the local ones, which are great. I All props to the people that come and uh, the dealers that are there for it and uh, the organization that every month puts it on. Uh, they do a fabulous job. Well, this is a national stamp show, so we're going to be a bit bigger here. And uh, this is the 92nd Royal that has been there. And this is the second time New Brunswick has hosted. The second time also that Fredericton has hosted, the last time in 1999. So to be invited, first of all, which was kind of nice that uh, a member of the Royal Philatelic Society of Canada reached out to me and said, can we make this work where you'll come and film the Royal for us? And uh, I was like, yeah, I'd be happy to come do that. And uh, I, so I made some arrangements. I talked with the uh, Fredericton Stamp Association, which is uh, hosting this year. And uh, they made it work that I could come. And after work tomorrow, I will drive up to Fredericton. Uh, I will check into the hotel that they've provided me with a room and then I can film tomorrow and then I can film on Saturday and then hopefully have a pretty nice uh, idea of what the Royal is all about by that point in time. I'm hoping to get a few interviews from some people that are there as well and yeah, it's going to be good. I know that I've had some people already reach out saying that I'm going to be there, not me, but uh, they will be there. And uh, if they see me, they will uh, reach out to me, which I really appreciate. Uh, so I'm going to see some friends that are going to be up there. I'm going to meet some new people that probably follow my channel that are going to be there too. And I've been promoting this uh, definitely for the last week. We've been talking stamps a lot. And now I want to get into the nitty gritty of the Royal. For those of you that are going to go or are interested in going, I'm going to show you the webpage so we can kind of flip through it a bit together and show you what might be there. This is a site you want to go to, rpscroyal.com. So that's the Royal Philatelic Society of Canada, royal.com. And you'll get all the information about this event. So where is it going to be happening? When, where, and all that information is right here on the site. So September 20th to the 22nd in Fredericton, New Brunswick is the Stan National Stamp Exhibition, Royal 2024. There is contact information there. There is also the address of the Fredericton Inn where it's going to be hosted. And you're invited to this, what we're calling the uh, Maritime Party, the Eastern Hospitality for the Royal 2024. What's Eastern Hospitality? Well, we are seen as uh, some of the friendliest people in Canada, if you can believe that. Um, when we have uh, visitors or tourists come to our area, we want to promote that people come back and see more and take it all in. That you can't just come in one season and see enough. That you have to come throughout the year and take in all the stuff that we have in, uh, in store. Well, let's get a little history here on the Royal uh, it was supposed to happen in 2020, but COVID canceled it. We are now hosting again in 2024. Uh, we did host in 1999, and in 2016, we hosted the British North America Philatelic Society as well. So uh, we have a little quote here. It says, our club's members are quite varied in their collection, said Diane Earle, who's the president of the Fredericton Club. We have a very specialized collectors, award-winning collectors, and members that collect worldwide. So what are we going to see when we are at this stamp show? We are going to see stuff from all around the world, of course. And this page kind of gives you an idea who's going to be there, where they're going to be located. So if you go to the dealer section, you can see the 12 dealers that we're going to have on hand. Hopefully I'll get a chance to talk to some of them, uh, how their booths will be organized. And over here, you can see the frames for the exhibitions as well. So that is certainly going to be something that's going to be new for me to see. Um, you can click to the page and shows you what's on the frames. For example, frames 1 through 10 are the fancy cancels during the small queen period of 1870 to 1897. It's no wonder that this is being held in the Maritimes. There's a frame, frame 11, the Prince Edward Island postmarks of Charlottetown from 1814 to 1872. Newfoundland commemorative. So there's going to be a bunch of things that have to do with Atlantic Canada. But there is also going to be a bunch of frames that are international. 
Great Britain's George V commemorative stamp issues, for example, are going to be on frames 21 through 28. Um, and then you can go through here, uh, Canada-US cross-border mail from uh, is on frames 111 to 115. So I'm going to get a chance to go through these frames, see some of the things, maybe talk to some of the people that are uh, responsible for them as well. So that's going to be very exciting to see too. Now, there is a tab here called Attractions. And I was thinking, well, uh, what kind of attractions do you have at the stamp show other than what I just showed? No, it is showing you what is available. If you're coming to Fredericton, New Brunswick, some of the things you might want to see in historic Fredericton, the, uh, the downtown area, the government house, the capital here, uh, some of the cathedrals that are around. So some of the things that you might want to take in while you're in Fredericton, because this isn't just for locals. This is for people coming in from all around the country maybe even all around the world, because the Royal has been hosted three times outside of Canada as well in the United States. So we probably will have some uh, philatelic people that are be coming in from the United States. And who knows from how far flung outside of that as well. Now, one of the things I notice on this tab, it says exhibits and Palmers. Palmers. How am I pronouncing that incorrectly? Well, I am because it is your award winners. That's what we're talking about with this. So not only do you have this, all the uh, the groupings, these are all people that are looking for a chance to win in the breast presentation. There's going to be judges that are going to come through and do that. Um, on top of that, let's go to the schedule. So there's all sorts of things that are going to be happening. Like I said, today is the day that uh, things get set up and people start uh, getting registered. So that's all happening from 4 until 8 tonight. Tomorrow, the 20th, starting at 7 o'clock in, in the morning from 7 to 9, the exhibits are going to be set up. At 8 o'clock, the registration desk is going to be open. At 9.30, they're going to have opening ceremonies. At 10 o'clock, the exhibits will be open for viewing. And then from 11 to 12, the Royal Philatelic Society Roundtable and General Information se Session with Peter McDonald will take place in the Prince Edward Island or Prince Edward Room. And then at 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, you can see there are going to be a variety of uh, different talks that you can go to, as well as going through and seeing all the dealers. Uh, so they're going to have a variety of those happening throughout. And then it says here at 6 o'clock, buses leave the Fredericton Inn for the President's reception. So that'll be something interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to be on that bus, but uh, uh, there will be things like that happening too. Now on Saturday, registration desk opens once again because you can get there on a day pass or get there for the whole weekend. The re registration desk will open at 9 and then from 9 to 10, the Royal Philatelic Society uh, Fellows Meeting in the Prince Edward Room will take place. At 10 o'clock, exhibits are open once again. 11 to 12, this is uh, an interesting one, Elizabethan Study Group Meeting with Jane Sederno. Um, and then uh, one that I'm looking forward to at 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, Designing the Canadian Endangered Frog Stamps. Among others, Jocelyn Saunier from Riverview, New Brunswick, which is part of the greater Moncton area. We are had, uh, happy to have her there as well. So that's going to be exciting to have her talk about uh, her um, process in, um, in creating stamps for Canada Post. And then we have a variety of other things still happening, including the awards banquet. And then you can come on Sunday. The exhibits are still open again. And there's going to be another talk as well from 1 to 2. Um, so, so many things are going to be happening throughout this three-day weekend. I do apologize if the screen is a little wavy because when you're videotaping a, a computer screen or a monitor, sometimes you do have that waviness to it. But you know the web page to go to. Uh, you know the information you need to get to be there contact information for people that you want to uh, get some more information about or the location of the Fredericton Inn where it's being hosted. The next thing I got to do is pack, I guess, for my weekend. So you might want to stay tuned. There might be something uh, uh, in a short clip about me packing what I think I need for this. You know, it's going to be an adventure for me too. I'm not quite sure. I mean, I've got the overview of what's going to be there and there's going to be a lot. Um, so I can sit down and I can take in uh, different talks. I can go and go to the dealer's tables and see what they have to offer. I can also go to the exhibits and see what's on display and how they're put together. And uh, I'm going to bring you with me because we're going to be talking. I'm going to be putting together a video for the Royal and uh, getting a first-hand experience of what it's like to go to one of these. And uh, maybe some of the work it takes to putting one on as well. 
who knows? These are some of the questions that are going through my head. And uh, if they come out my mouth to the right people, I might get the right answers. So stay tuned for that. Have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?